your own Sean here, thinking now for tomorrow with Poncho Louder, Pastor Poncho from Generation Unleashed in Portland. How's it going, man? It's going great. Good. So, uh, uh, how's Pure Conference? Here we are, Vancouver, Washington. You came up, made the trip. It's it's awesome. There's a lot of young people out here, passionate about God, with a real hunger for the Word, a real hunger for God to touch them. We're having a good time. Love it. Now one of the things you're passionate about doing is connecting people with the Word of God and making it relevant to today. What would you say to a young person or anybody that's like, you know, I can't really, you know, I don't have a passion to read the Word. And what are some practical tips to maybe get started past those confusing parts? Well, first I would tell them that God has a passion for them and I'd want them to understand His love and His passion for them, that He's actually seeking them. It's not about us seeking a God that's that's lost in space, but it's about us connecting with a God that's passionately pursuing us. And so we teach our young people that, that it starts with the Word, it starts with prayer. You know, as we read our Bible, we begin to connect with the reality of who God is and His love for us and His desire to be with us. And if you're out there and you're struggling with the Word, you're struggling with prayer, and you're thinking, man, it's just dry. It's not real to me. I, I would tell you that, that God loves you, and you need to relook at the Word of God, not as a book of history, but as a book of God's love to you. And I, I would encourage you to jump into uh, the Gospels and start reading the stories of Jesus' life and realize, man, He gave everything. Like He gave His whole life for you and this this Bible is his writings to you so that you can connect with him and connect with his love I love it that's awesome now the other day uh, you tweet you, you sent out a tweet that I thought was kind of funny and you know relationships are such a, a big deal among yeah. young uh, you know young people young adults and you know even all people there's always in a relationship especially in the church yeah. it gets kind of weird you know there's always everyone scope each other out check each other out but anyways you tweeted out dating principle uh, principle number 11 trust God and don't be weird and don't be afraid to go out with people what, what's some tips you know we're at peer conference how does someone uh, you know pursue relationships in a way that pleases God a few points yeah. Yeah, well, first of all, I'd say it's very age distinctive. Uh, my tweet was to our young adults, definitely. With our high schoolers, I, I believe that when someone is looking for the right person, the most important thing is to, to find the right timing. Because if you get the timing right, finding the girl or the guy is a little bit easier. Get the timing wrong, you mess everything up. And so I'd say for high schoolers, I would just look you straight in the eye and I would say, girls, you're absolutely wasting your time. Guys, you're simply wasting your money. And I would focus on building a relationship with God. And then for young adults, you know, when you get post high school, to start looking for the right person, identify the timing of life that you're in and if it's the right timing then it's okay to start going out getting a cup of coffee hanging out and so for young adults I would tell them that it's it's different you know for you it's about identifying the right season of life if you get the season right it's easier to identify the right girl you know and I, I encourage our young adults hey don't be weird when it comes to dating it's okay to go get a cup of coffee and hang out friends do that uh, but we encourage them to do it in gr groups. Get to know the girl, get to know the guy before you go out solo and begin to identify a relationship. That's good, that's good. Now, you're, uh, did you ever see the movie Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone, arm yeah. wrestling? Okay, yeah. and you know, get, get that grip and just really, let me ask you a question, serious question. Um, your pastor, Frank DiMaggio, Glenn Johnson, Pastor Glenn, they go at it over the top. Who do you think's gonna just, <laughs> uh, well, I'd have to, I'd have to say my pastor, but I'm biased. So, <laughs> okay. Have you have you ever been in that situation? Have you ever arm wrestled uh, Frank? Uh, never arm wrestled Pastor Frank. No. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it'll come after this. You'll see this video. We'll All right. All right. We'll see. It'll be, it'll be a new thing of like pastor arm wrestle championships yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Love it. All right. Uh, last question. You're in Portland. What's going on with the young people in Portland right now? Like you have one of the uh, largest youth conferences just around and uh, you're doing some cutting edge stuff to just reach out to young people. What, what's going on? For us, we're trying to create a passion of, in young people for the word of God and prayer. We have a belief that if we could teach young people the importance of pursuing God, a God that's already pursuing them, simply responding to his grace and going after him, that that, that act alone will begin to inspire a generation uh, to go after God themselves because people want to, they don't just want to hear the truth, they want to see young people that have literally activated the truth in their life. And so 
for us to say to a generation there's a real God and yet we're not even willing to pursue him. You know, 2 Timothy 2.22 says, flee the evil desires of your youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call upon the Lord out of a pure heart. And what we find is most people just look at the word of God and it says flee the evil desires of your youth and they stop there and they make Christianity about a bunch of do's and don'ts about what I can't do I can't do this I can't have sex I can't hang out with friends I can't go to these places and really Christianity is not about those things Christianity is about pursuing righteousness being in right standing with God pursuing faith and love and peace and and doing it with all those who call upon the Lord out of a pure heart and we're trying to teach a generation go after God God. go after God together and it's it's not about the things we don't do it's about the things we get to do we get to have a relationship with the creator of the universe we get to have joy and peace that's beyond understanding we get to have a relationship with other people that are passionately in love with God I mean Christianity is the most awesome thing on planet earth all right, lastly, if people want to connect with you, your ministry, Twitter, Facebook, uh, where, where are you guys at? Yeah, if you on Twitter, it's at, at GU Live. On Facebook, it's Generation Unleashed. You can also go to generationunleashed.com. And let me say one more thing, young people. If you're struggling with your devotional life, go to generationunleashed.com. Get a Pursue Journal. It has a Bible reading plan, a prayer card, and it'll help guide you in your devotions to a deeper place with God. Thank you so much, yeah. Pastor, and uh, Big International. Peace.